All right, guys, I am back. So we are going to be starting off with lesson 79. So back after spring break, hope you guys had a good break. Um, we are going to be starting off with lesson number 79. Put my computer here. There we go. So what we're going to be doing here is, so go ahead and in your textbook, open up to page 367, 367. So lesson 79 is regarding symmetry. So what is, first off, what is symmetry? So right out of the book on page 367, and, and again, if you need to, you can pause at any time in the video, rewind, watch me over and over and over again if you want, whatever you need to do so you can understand this lesson is to, to the best of your ability. So symmetry. Symmetry is, so we call this kind of balance reflective symmetry or just symmetry. So what is symmetry? So go ahead and write down the definition that you see there on page 367. So in nature, we often find balance in the appearance and structure of objects and living things. For example, we see a balance in the wing patterns of moths and butterflies. So if you go out, look at pictures of butterflies, um, there's lots of examples of what's called symmetry. So if I have a square, would that be symmetrical? So that could be a question that you see. So let me draw my little square here. So right here, this is my square. Is that symmetrical? Well, how would I find that out? That's where we use our, this other term in this lesson called line of symmetry. What is that? So what that is, is you are going to be using a dotted line to cut um, whatever you're using in half to see a mirror image, a mirror image. So if I were to cut this square in half to see if it is symmetrical, see if it has symmetry. So this right here, this dotted line, that is my line of symmetry. And if I wanted to know if it was symmetrical, so take a piece of paper, for example. If you fold your piece of paper in half, is it symmetrical? Fold it perfectly in half. Is it the same on both sides? Yes. So that's like what this square is. If I fold this square in half, is it symmetrical about that line of symmetry? Yes. So. Let's look at example one. Let's look at example number one. Are those lines there? Beautiful. Okay, so example number one. If you're following along when you're in your book, we are on page 368 now. So letter A, letter B, and letter C. Okay, so the question is asking, which of these polygons does not have a line of symmetry? All right, let's draw them all. So we have a rectangle, it's like a piece of paper. We have a triangle. And we have that pentagon looking figure, that five sided figure. Oh, I'm sorry, that is four sides. Four-sided figure. So, first off, I need to put a line of symmetry down each of these objects. And again, follow along in your book so you can see what I'm talking about. So, with the rectangle, we can fold this in half, like that, and it's gonna be the same on both sides. Now, if I were to fold it this way, as well, so hot dog style, as some of you may know it, so we have hamburger style and hot dog style. We fold it down both of those lines, we would get a symmetrical um, square. So 
So we would just have, if we were to fold that in half, it would be a longer um, rectangle. And if we were to fold it in half, we would actually have a square. So let's try letter B now, letter B. So we have this triangle. If I fold it this way right here, is it gonna be symmetrical? No. Nope. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay. So what if I fold it like this? Is it gonna be the same? I think so, because when you look at both sides of this triangle, so over here and over here, it's gonna be exactly the same. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna color in those areas. Use green for the left side. And for the left side, let's see how this works. I haven't done this before. So this side, we got this green triangle, right? Cool. So I got that green triangle on the left side. And if I cut the other side in half, let's use red for that side. So I'm gonna color that side in with red. Sweet. If I color that side in with red. You notice I didn't do the best job of coloring those in. But if you notice, they are the same shape. They're the same shape about that yellow dotted line. So that means it's gonna be symmetrical. So what about that final image that we have there? Yellow dotted line back, bring that back. So let's see if we can find any way that we would be able to make this symmetrical. If I fold it about that line right there, that's not gonna work, right? So, undo, undo, undo. Cool. So what if I fold it down this line right here? Is it gonna be symmetrical? Nope. We're gonna have a different image on both sides. Okay. What if I try and get a little more creative here and I draw it right down like that? Still gonna be a different image, right? And I'll show you. Use my green on one side and then my red. So on this top side, I'm gonna do green. So it's kind of a weird, now we have our one, two, three, still four-sided figure, but it's kind of oddly shaped. So let's look at the bottom figure now. How many sides does it have? Well, if I color it in, it looks more like a triangle. So it's still not the same, right? So we have on the top half, a four-sided figure, four-sided. On the bottom, we have a three-sided figure. It's not the same picture on both. So it is not symmetrical. So I'm gonna take my black pen here. This one here, not symmetrical. So that's the one, letter C would be the one that is not symmetrical. Okay, so what I would like you guys to do for the rest of this lesson, so go ahead and just like we did with example one, I want you to do example two, okay? So you are copying the letters and drawing um, to see if they have any lines of symmetry, okay? So once you do that, you'll be done with your notes and you can get started on your homework. If you guys got any questions, you can email me, give me a call, come on down and um, visit me during my office hours. I'll be here every, scheduled school day from 9 to 12. So if you need me, you know where to find me. All right. Hope you guys have a good rest of your break. Stay safe. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.